Hello, I'm Nick Bell. In this video clip, we're going to be creating a classic Van Halen sound for Helix. Let's start off by taking a look at the gear Ed would have used. Ed's rig didn't change much during the first three Van Halen albums. The rig consisted of a Marshall Plexi plugged into a Variac going through a Marshall 412 cab with either 20 or 25 watt speakers. Ed started his signal chain by plugging into a flanger, phaser, and two tape delays. The chain ends with a plate reverb from the studio. Ed's classic Frankenstein guitar consisted of a swamp ash body and a maple neck with one PAF humbucker in the bridge. If you don't have a guitar with humbuckers, you can use a Variax to model this. Select the input block and go to page two. Move Variax setting to per preset, then change the preset Variax model to Lester one. If you want to change your tuning, you can alter this on the third page. Now that we have the guitar situation sorted, let's take a look at the amp. We're going to use the Brit Plexi Bright for the amp head. Then we're going to create a separate block for the cabinet and choose a dual cab option. For both cabinets, we're going to use the 412 Greenback 25s with the 57 Dynamic as our mic for both cabs. For our first cab, we're going to adjust the mic distance to one and a half inches. Now I'm going to jump to the second page and adjust the mic distance to three inches and bring up the early reflections. For our amp block, let's start by bringing up the drive, bass, mids, and presence, then dropping the treble. We'll also raise the channel volume. Jumping over to the second page, I'm going to set the sag all the way up to get the tone and feel of using a Variac. Then I'm going to raise the AC ripple and adjust the bias levels to be about half. <laughs> Now that we have our amp in place, let's take a look at the effects we can add. Let's start by adding a mono gray flanger before our amp. I'm going to raise the rate on knob 1. I'm then going to move the width and the manual to about half. On knob 4, I'm going to raise the regeneration up a bit and then bring the level up as well. Now let's hear the flanger effect when engaged. Now let's add the script mod phaser before the flanger. I'm going to change the rate to time based by pushing down on knob 1, but before we listen to the effect, we'll need to set the tempo for the preset. To do this, just tap the tempo on footswitch 12 and adjust knob 6. In this case, let's use 96 beats per minute. Let's take a listen to our phaser after the adjustments. <laughs> Now let's add a short delay after the amp. For this tone, we're going to be using the mono transistor tape delay. Starting off, we're going to move this down to a parallel path, then adjust our time to 150 milliseconds. For our feedback, we're going to dial down to zero so we have a single repeat. The wow, flutter, and mix can go about halfway. Now, let's hear how this sounds. Finally, let's add some stereo plate reverb to the end of our signal chain. We're going to bring down the decay a bit and set the pre-delay to 100 milliseconds. Now that we've dialed in the main components of our sound, let's take a look at other items we can add in. Van Halen isn't known for using a volume pedal, but he often uses volume swells, so let's add a volume pedal in the first slot. Now let's add the long delay heard at the end of eruption. We're going to use the mono mod chorus echo. I'm going to set the time to time base with a half note delay. We'll adjust the feedback and the high cut. We can also add a solo boost by adding the top secret overdrive with the small amount of gain and the level set all the way up. Let's turn on the input gate. I usually set the threshold between 70 and 60 decibels and the decay around 100 milliseconds. Now that we have all our effects in place, let's take a look at how to assign them to foot switches. Starting off, I'm going to select foot switch 6, which will send us over to the stomp mode. I want to assign the top secret overdrive to foot switch 2. Lightly touch and hold the foot switch, then confirm this selection by pressing OK on knob 6. The script phase will go on foot switch 8, the flanger we're going to assign to foot switch 9, the short delay to foot switch 10, our long delay on foot switch 4, and the reverb to foot switch 11. So that brings us to the end of our Van Halen tone tutorial. Please keep in mind that your instrument, hands, and listening environment will affect your overall sound. So use this as a starting off point. Feel free to download this tone and make edits as needed, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.